this example, I am given an inequality in set builder notation, and I am asked to graph it and give the domain and range. The first thing I do is write the inequality as an equality. And now I'm going to fill in a table of values. I will start by finding the intercepts. If x is equal to 0, I have 0 plus y equals 2. This simplifies to give y equals 2. And I have the point 0, 2. If y equals 0, I get x plus 0 equals 2 x therefore equals 2, and I have the point 2, 0. I'll do one more point just to make sure in my table. If I make x equal to 1, I get 1 plus y equals 2, y is therefore equal to 2 minus 1, y is equal to 1, and I have the point 1, 1. I graph these three points on my coordinate plane, 0, 2, 2, 0, and 1, 1. And I draw a line through the points. I have to look at my symbol to see if it's a dotted or solid line. This is or equal to, so it is going to be a solid line, not a dotted line. I draw that line. And now I have to decide which side of the line I am shading. I use the test point. I am going to use the test point 0, 0 because this line does not go through 0, 0. I write my equation with the original inequality symbol. And then I replace x and y with the 0 and the 0 from a test point. This simplifies to give 0 less than or equal to 2, which is true. When I get a true statement at the end of my test point, it means I shade towards the test point from the line, which means I am shading over here, I am finished graphing the line. All that's left to do is to give the domain and the range. For any oblique line with shading, my domain and range are always going to both be all real numbers. Every x value is eventually being used as you move left and right across this shaded region. So all x values mean, being used means real numbers is the domain. The same thing works for the y values. As you move up and down along the shaded region, eventually every y value will be used. So the range is all real numbers.